This is Gadget Stop 321. In today's video, I'm wrapping up this week by going through all my note taking supplies that I've been using and deciding what I'm going to need to get ready for next week. I've just wrapped up a Bible study that I've been doing on 1st and 2nd Peter, and I've been using my Hobonichi Techo, the A6 Avec. Uh, for my Bible study, and that has worked out really nicely. Um, it's a dated planner, but I've been using it for kind of as a note-taking journal. And I had two pens that I already had inked up, so I decided, since one of them was a broader nib and one of them was a fine nib, to use them for this. I think when I uh, get my next two pair of pens. I'm going to choose something with a little more uh, where the ink colors contrast a little bit more so you can see the difference between the two. But this has actually worked out really nicely. Um, my notes aren't perfect. Like I'm not a super perfectionist about this. Like sometimes I have to go back and add in stuff. It's not perfectly spaced and like sometimes I have to mark stuff out and write stuff in but even with that it doesn't have to be perfect but it still looks good and it's easy to read and it's well organized and so uh, this has made me more likely to go back and reread my notes and that's what I did today before I started um, my Bible study I went back and reread everything I'd read and here I left a little note that I had some questions about these verses and left a little space to go back and answer those. So when I get done here, that's probably what I'm going to do. And it's just nice and easy to read. You know, it's divided up into chunks. It's easy to find stuff. I really like how this has turned out. And I... This has worked out nice, just a little piece of absorbent regular Plano school notebook paper that I just stuck the whole page in here, traced how big I needed it to be, and cut it out. Because some of these pens are wetter than others, and so this has kept me from, you know, transferring ink all over the place, smearing ink, so that's worked out nicely. And today, uh, the notes I wanted to take took up two pages, so I took up today's and yet and tomorrow's, but that's okay. I'm using this dated planner. Um, I'm using the dates basically as page numbers, so throughout the week as I've been taking notes, sometimes I would be behind the actual date. Sometimes I would move ahead of the actual date. You know, I try to stay around the, the actual uh, date that we're at, but you, you don't have to. Um, and this has worked out really well. And since tomorrow's Sunday, I have a notebook that I use on Sundays that I take to church for taking notes in Sunday school and uh, sermon notes. My Rhodia meeting book. And I just love this paper. This is just your good old smooth Rhodia paper. It's 90 GSM. It's nice and thick. And so I've labeled, you know, my page that I'm going to be using tomorrow. And my pens are starting to run out of ink. And that's why I went ahead and kind of labeled this ahead of time. I thought I might uh, finish up. I thought this might go ahead and completely run out of ink. It's basically out of ink. When I get done here, I'm going to go clean it up. This, my fine nib, this one's the stub nib, the .6 stub nib. I just really like how it writes. You get just, just a little bit of line variation to make it look interesting, to make it stand out. Uh, this is my fine nib sailor. The ink tends to go a little bit farther, so I may have another couple days left in it. And one thing I have wanted to mention every day, and I keep forgetting to, is my duo pen sleeve. This is what I carry, my two pens that I carry to work every day. And 
it's not the same two pins. I switch them up, but I like to have two pins, one with, you know, a nice conservative black or blue ink, and then one with something a little more colorful for grading or whatever. And so I always take two pins to school, but I'm always using just one at a time. But in my journaling and note taking, I'm switching between pins, and this little duo pen sleeve just works nice as a pen rest. When I switch out my pen, I just really like this. I'm a big fan of these rickshaw pen sleeves. They're affordable as far as pen sleeves go, especially compared to um, leather pen, pen sleeves tend to be a little more expensive. And my daughters are vegans, so, you know, just out of respect for them. I like to go with a, a non-leather option. And this is just the regular length. I really like this material. I think it's called a, like a tuxedo material. It's nice and soft, but still feels very durable. Now this is the regular length, and you see that my Jinhao X750 barely fits in there. Now this is about the same length as like my Custom 74 and my... Platinum 3776, so I can fit those in here, but they they don't really stick out, but it they're not completely covered. So when I ordered my 37, or when I ordered the Custom 74, I went ahead and ordered a long rickshaw sleeve, and this fits those pins that are just slightly longer, fits it perfect look, because it's able to close up and it's just in there a little bit more securely. I feel like nothing's going to scratch the end of it. And so there are occasions, sometimes I'll have three pins inked up at a time and I can just drop these down in my purse and not have to worry about them. And let's see, I mentioned that I was getting ready to clean out my Jin Hao, and I'm getting close to cleaning out my Sailor pen. I've got more pens inked up now this summer than I keep inked up, than I've ever had inked up at one time before. I've been playing with my inks and doing writing samples and whatnot, and you know, that's been fun. It's summertime, but I noticed that my Custom 74 has some ink in the lid and so uh, I'm not looking forward to cleaning it out because there's some up under the cap liner now that's not under the cap liner that's just inside the barrel here but still uh, I'm not looking forward to cleaning this out I'm gonna have to see if I can pull that cap liner out go watch a video or something. I don't know. I know the Pilot Pereira, I think it's held in there with the screw. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But, eh, that's going to take a little extra effort to clean out. And I think what has happened, I'm in the bonus room upstairs of my house, and it gets hot up here in the summertime. In the evenings, it cools off, and by morning time, it's nice and just very comfortable. But throughout the day, it warms up, and it is hot up here right now. So I think the pen has burped or something, and I've been up here. I've still been, you know, I'll pick this up and write a few lines with it, and I've been shaking it because it's almost out of ink. I've been shaking it to get the ink down. I, I probably did that myself. So wish me luck cleaning that out in a few minutes but let's see also this week I am gonna get to work on some school stuff my um, Claire Fontaine this little tabbed notebook that I've been trying to decide what I wanted to use it for I'm gonna use it for some lesson planning for algebra 1 I've got it divided up into units, uh, different resources. I went through and wrote down some different resources. Now I'm going to go back through and start um, doing some pacing guides. And let's see, each tab I think has five pages. One, two, three, four, five. So I'll still have some blank pages that as the year goes on I can make notes 
And so I'm looking forward to using that. But I'm going to work on making some pacing guides this week. And so I'm going to use, I like using pencils for this. And I've got my Lehigh Lab Neocrits. I'm enjoying this. I've wanted one of these for a long time. I love this color. And let's see. I was debating between my .5 Uni Kurutoga and the um, Zebra Del Guard. Now the Uni Kurutoga is the one that rotates the lead as you write. This is more, I like using this when I'm taking notes, like at a lecture or something, at a meeting, at a professional development. Am I having to write stuff down quickly and I don't want to be stopping, rotating. I just want to write as fast as possible. For this, I'm probably going to be writing a lot. And I like the Dell Guard with the little spring-loaded end down here. I tend to grip my pencils really tightly. But with this spring-loaded tip, it's more cushiony. And for some reason, I don't, I feel like I'm not gripping it as tightly. Whatever, whatever's going on with my hand, I, my hand doesn't get as tired when I'm writing for long periods of time. So I think I'm going to use this. This uses, this is 0.7 lead, and I've got some 2B 0.7 lead that I've been using in it. It's nice and soft and writes nice and dark, so I'm looking forward to using that. It'll be nice and smooth. All right. So that's what I'm going to be using this week. And if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.